Welcome back everyone to Missions 101, where today we are here in Erebor to start the second set of Erebor missions. I also have a fresh legendary item. This is the starter item that you get when you start to work on opening up Moria. And let's see how quickly missions are able to fill this up. Can we do today or is it going to take a couple more missions? But let's see what you have here. Enemies at the East Gate. At your service and your families. Our scouts in the Dimmerel Dale have sighted another band of orcs rallying outside the East Gate. It seems that the few remaining orcs of Mazog's clan of old, the Pulpum, now lead them. The evils of Azog and his foul offspring haunt us at every step. This can not stand. You are to travel to the Dimmerel Dale at once and defeat the Pulpum leading the orcs at the East Gate. For the um, Karum Ubnar. Right, for whatever you call them. So therefore, this is enemies at the East Gate. Alright. Isn't that pretty much the same as the place where we had our last mission? Despite the failure of the Iron Garrison, the dwarves do not allow the orcs of Kaza Doom to spill forth into Azanu Bazaar. Right, yeah, that's the same place. Gated, you must find a way to breach a barrier to reach the mission objective. Oh, fun. Here we are in the Dimmerald Dale, but this time we are at the East Gate rather than down near Duran Stone that way. Let's see, I expect to find some orcs here. We need to defeat 12 orcs. Actually, let's wait for this orc to... Well, that didn't work out too well. It was worth a shot, but it looks like... Well, I have a better weapon now because I found out when I picked up the legendary weapon that I was using a level 30 weapon, which probably explains why I wasn't cutting through the enemies very fast. As I don't know why I was using such a weak weapon. I would have thought I would have found a better one at some point when I was down in Trestle Bridge, but apparently not. So I think I actually started that section at level... Did I start that? At, I think I started that at level 45. Oh well. Now, let's get to this next one, but it looks like I'm getting through them a little bit more easily. Hey, maybe I could go behind this rock. Oh, I forgot, that's also an archer. Aha! Yes, you fell for my trap! So I only have to get rid of 12 of them. Actually, I suspect getting rid of 12 of them is what you do in order to... Complete it! Master of the... Sp oh. New deed. Class deeds tier 7. Alright, so in other words, I did something that involved using spears a great deal. Master of the spear. Strike with mighty blow, wall of steel, yeah, all those things several times. Obviously, I have not completed all those yet. Alright, now I have three more. Two more orcs to defeat, and then does that open up the gate, or do I have to find a gate that is? Well, there are more than twelve orcs, so getting that. And I don't like the idea we got this numbskull here, who is giving me trouble. There you go. Hmm. Uh, oh. Now, what is... Oh. I... There's... Oh, no. I thought there was somebody else shooting at me. Alright, now, what is... I was about to ask, what is the gate? But apparently, I can't get a word in edgewise. Find out what... Let's see, what does it say now? Destroy the orcish gate at the east gate at the east gate of Moria. So there is an orcish gate around here somewhere. So it is literally gated. They don't normally 
talk so literally when they say destroy a gate. There you go. Oh. It's an elite gate, apparently. I didn't think the orcs went around making elite gates. Really? <laughs> uh, they really want to make this strong but an inanimate object for me to go and destroy? Well, at least if it doesn't hit back. I guess that's good news. Good thing that I have a better spear now. Looks like I got up to level 6 so far on my weapon. Despite the sturdiness, the gate splinters and crashes to the ground. And, oh, now we get to the pulpum. <laughs> and now we defeat the pulpum gate captain. Alright, fine. I guess we can do that. So, about halfway up level 6, and I presume that we're also going to get some XP for completing the mission. And so I think two missions might be enough in order to finish this up. And now for you. I probably really should be putting some points into my ally. I could do that as soon as this whole thing is over. No, where do I have to go? I mean... In some of the other missions... Oh, I guess I do have to go this way. Alright. In some of the other missions that we had a... In the other Slades... If you were fighting a boss, then they would... Go and bring the mission rewards up to where the boss was since the boss is no longer there and they know you're going to be there. Oh well. Perhaps I should have killed that last extra orc to add a few more XP here. If I miss leveling up the item by this tiniest sliver, we'll know why. But, I am at level 7 now. At your service, and your families. You've done well, Pine Seed. May those orcs who still cling to their loyalties of old, be it at that of Azog, Bolg, or even Mazog and Gorgar, know that their time is at an end. Alright, so what's the next one? Keepers of the Narrow Way. What news do you bring? I have a new mission for you. Our scouts have reported a recent rise in activity in the north. It seems a remnant of the Iron Crown has taken refuge in the lands of Kar um, Bronach, and they have set a watch at Rathad Kal, the narrow way. Although the Gabila Ka must remain focused on the reclamation of Gundabad, we cannot allow the Iron Crown to keep a foothold so close to the mountains. You are to travel to Rathad Kal at once. Defeat the gatekeeper and tear down the banner of the Iron Crown. Hmm. Rathadka, is that the place that's north of the Elder Slates? Well, I suppose we'll find that out in a moment. What do we got then? Far to the north of Anakarfu lies Rathadkal, the narrow way, a treacherous passage into Karbronach. There, those still loyal to the Iron Crown guard the approach to the last bastions of Angmar. Your mission is to defeat the Dowerhand's gatekeeper, guarding the Rathagad Kal, and tear down the banner of the Iron Crown. And we have a burning shield. Some monsters of this mission will apply a flaming reflect. Oh, goody. Ah, here we are at that northern road to Karbronach, which is a place where we... Reached a dead end the last time I came here back with the War 3 Peaks content. So I I guessed that in update 30 we will likely be... Actually, I think I originally guessed that when we, they released Gundabad that they would be opening up the area. So it could be they're opening up the area here for the... Where the blood of Oz are. Or it could be they're just giving us a sneak peek of the area. 
actually, we're not actually even in that area because I think we're still in regions where we were back last time. So it could be that we don't even get to see the other side of that, and that's still being saved for the Gundabad expansion. Eh, we'll have to see. Hmm. Yeah, because there's the gate right there. And I didn't see anything about this being a gated mission. Now, now you. All right. Let's just see how many we kill here and see what else we have to do. And if we manage to get our LI up to the max. Ooh, we just hit eight. Oh. Actually, I got another tier that I could push up. There you go. Yeah, so far I'm just taking the main legacy, the one that boosts up your damage output. And now for you. Not too sure what happens if... Oh, maybe that's the reflect that they're able to do. Okay, I should keep that in mind because I was wondering, what is there? are they trying to heal each other? No, I think it's that reflect that we were warned about in the twist. So I should really be even more attentive on keeping them from... Well, that one was easy. From that twist that they are trying to do. Because I certainly don't want any nasty, fiery reflex coming out on me. Alright, fine. Now, summon and defeat the Harahan Gatekeeper. So I need to summon a Gatekeeper. Oh. Well... I should really figure that there'd be another enemy around here somewhere. Well, actually, might as well get a few extra in here, especially when you consider that I am trying to level up this ally. I may need a third mission at the rate things are going, though. Well, that at least will show my test my hypothesis on there. There you go. You have drawn the attention of the Dowerhand Gatekeeper. Who dare summon me? I dare summon you. None may enter Karbronach. Hi to you. Well, I shall enter. Well, I don't know whether I just... I don't know if I'll be literally entering in there or if I'm just going to be... Knows what I'm allowed to do here. We'll find that out in a moment. I have defeated them. What, I take a banner? Oh, that completes the mission. Okie dokie. That it? Well. I think some of the more substantial missions might be able to have gotten to me on two of them, but it looks like I'm going to be just a short. And I mean more than... By that one orc from the previous one. Let's get out of here. Mission accomplished. What news do you bring? Once the gates of Gundabad are open and we have staked our claim upon the mountains, the time shall come to explore Karbronach. Of that, I'm certain. So in other words, it sounds like then Karbronach is going to be opened up for Gundabad, perhaps. We'll see. Hmm, I am at level 8, so I only need one more. So it looks like it takes three missions to do that, and those two are short. So let's try a respite at Zarkul Saloon. It won't be quite a respite if we have a mission for at this. At your service, and your families. After Hrimo Frostheart sealed the gates at Mount Gundabad, the victory we sought was stolen from us. Prince Tyrion has handled himself in the manner of his station. But I know he feels the setback as keenly as any other dwarf. Some of the soldiers of their cool saloon have begun to doubt in our cause, and they might soon fall into despair. You're a story warden, so I'm told. Will you speak to them? 
Oh, this is the worst mission to do when you're trying to level an ally. Hmm. Let us skip that and save that for another episode, and instead... Securing the Redhorn, yeah. What news do you bring? Our scouts at the Dimrald Dale have discovered a small band of orcs and goblins camped at the Redhorn Pass. I don't know if they mean to join the, with Gorgar and his ilk in Gundabad, or simply harry the folk of the Vales, but we can't allow them to overrun the pass. Alright, let's go to to Dimrald Dale and secure the Redhorn Pass. And to do this, our twist is reinforcement. Oh, fun. It appears that we need to go this way, or at least I hope so, because in that direction, I see a level 60 orc. What a level 60 orc is doing over there, I have absolutely no idea, but the orcs on this side are properly level 45, so I am assuming that that level 60 orc is a spawning of a landscape orc, because the regular landscape would be about level 60, I think. Now let's see if killing a few goblins here is going to get me to level 10, uh, which is my mission for today. To see how many missions it takes in order to do this, it may depend on which missions you've got, of course. Because I know that the mission to encourage the dwarves, I was pretty sure that was not going to do it. But if it did it, it would be because of the mission experience. And I don't think that would have been enough to do it by itself. That is, of course, unless the whole thing gets a surprise, shall we say, at the end. A counter. What is this, a skirmish or something? <laughs> Okay, well, at least we get extra. Oh, quit! Ah. Oh, I should have known they will go about doing that. <sighs> now, are we done here? Okay, we take care of the archer, we take care of the. Whatever that other one was, now I'll take care of the scout. And get stunned, of course. Oh, we're at level 9 now. You've secured the first encampment. We should press on. Yes, we should. And we'll grab the scout before we head on. Oh, th there are two there! Well, are they being fancy? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this one is going to give us the 10th level that we need. So the answer is, I'll say on average 3... Two, if you have just the right missions with enough mobs in them. For example, one of those missions that gives an endless stream of them. Because there are some missions where they just keep on spawning and spawning and spawning enemies. And if you could use that to your advantage if you're trying to do this in just one mission. And there is the mission in the Elder Slaves where you're trying to defend that bridge. I'm wondering if enough of those drakes come in in order to do it in a single one, or to, or not. I can't remember on there. I suppose one could test that out, if one is really, really curious. There you go. Now, I suspect that if I were level 50, then I would most likely have done it with just two of them because the amount of experience you get for your ally is going to vary based on your based on your level it's like with deeper mischief on the skirmish side if I was level 50 deeper in mischief running deeper in mischief was enough in order to use do it in only one skirmish but otherwise if I was level 45 I would have to run tuck bro which has more enemies in it and I presume then we got another step forward. Oh, actually, I've gotten up to the 10th level now. I guess I missed that little message. Yes, you have... 
All right, so I will have to go and take care of that after this episode because we've now answered our question there. And this next episode, I'll have a... An ally that has been reforged at least once. Mission folks... Actually, I wonder... Do you have to go back to... I think you... Yeah. Oh, that's right. I can't. I was wondering if I would be able to use the portable forge in order to do it, but even if... But of course, the portable forge can't be used. I think you can't use that one until you've completed the... the bit where you actually completely unlock your LI so that the one I have is, is probably the old one that doesn't allow you to do anything with it. Actually, let me take care of these two guys before I pull that flag because the last thing I want to do is to go around adding extra fo- I don't know how many checkpoints there are because this is the third one, right? Or something like that? Waiting, 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 waiting. Still waiting. Actually, there's, let me check here. That's just the legendary item panel. But if I look at this, I'm pretty sure that... Yeah, it's not until I finish the more requests where I get the one that includes the legendary item forge. They change the quest that you get. Where are they at? Where are they at? Oh, there they are. Ah! Stop that! Oh. Okay, where is that orc? The archers are the... Are the ones I always like to go after first, if possible. Unless I am being netted by one of these goblins. Alright, that is the third encampment. How many encampments are there? Oh. Well, obviously that's the wrong direction. Hmm. Well, I should... Oh. Secure the final... Okay, there's one more... Oh! Yes, of course. Let's see. Ah, oh, there we are. Yes. This trouble with switch facts, you're wondering. Alright, which... <laughs> They're both going in the same direction. It's just that one goes up and one goes down. That's right. I was going down the mountain. I'm so used to going up mountains when trying to go after these guys that... Or at least, I think this is the right way. Well, we'll find that out if I see... Yes, here we are. Goblin Lancers. And eventually I should run into a fourth encampment. Final encampment, fortunately. They decided to use the word final, so I am going to take them on their word. Let's get rid of that. Oh, let's just close that thing, close that thing, close that thing. Just trying to be able to, want to get rid of all these crazy notifications. And then letter... <laughs> better if I just left it there. Ah, there is the final encampment. Hey, maybe I could for a change actually use my ambush skill. I'm a warden after all. Well, not a very effective one apparently. There you go. Done and... Wait, I'm getting through these a lot faster than in the previous episode. Now that I have a weapon that could actually do some damage as opposed to that level 30 weapon that I was using in the previous episode. That's probably why these are going faster. The previous one was just probably slower because I had such a bad weapon. <laughs> hmm. That could explain a couple of things. There you go. And now it's your turn. 
Hiding in the grass, are you? Oh, I got a welcoming committee! And one more flag, I presume another counterattack after that. Oh, the, I was going to ask. Oh, that's what they meant by reinforcements! When they first said reinforcements, I was thinking that someone's going to be blowing a horn to summon reinforcements because that's what they usually mean. But. No, it's not that there's a horn or anything like this for summoning reinforcements. It's just that you put take the flags and the reinforcements. Actually, is this? That's just a regular one. All right. Uh, where is the? No chest. Oh, mission rewards. Oh. Why did you hide it there? <laughs> oh boy. And they only gave me one token after all that searching. Well done. We do not fear that the Red Horn Pass will be overrun this day. Let us return. Yeah, let's go. Oh, we have returned. What news do you bring? Well done, Pine Seed. I am pleased that the Red Horn Pass will be remain clear of foes as we proceed to march on Gundabad once more. Good. And that concludes our second set of missions. And next time, I'll come with a hopefully reforged LI as we look into more missions here in Missions 101.